there, everybody. Buck Bird back with you for more exciting Diamond Hand Racing Series action. After watching the Wing Davis put forward their two drivers in a heated finals, we're going to start the process all over again with our next troop, the Europores. <laughs> but the Wing Davis put on quite the show for us here on Corsa Luna, with Kit Strickland being crowned the champion and Wen Lambo as the runner up. Those two will advance to the DRS Lunar Championship and represent the Wing Davis troop in the tourney. That leaves us with a brand new troop to duke it out. Let's stop the dilly dallying and get right to it. I couldn't agree more. Starting out on pole in his 2004 Audi RS6 Avant, Monty French. Monty tells everyone that will listen that his wagon is an RS. It gets the kids to soccer practice in record time. In the second spot, Wunderkid Chandler Gray. When your first car is a 1976 Porsche 934 Turbo RSR, where do you go from there, Ryder? I don't see the logic. Buck, I think you're going to see a lot of apes facing that same problem. In the third spot, in his Mercedes-Benz AMG GT63, Parker Blair. Again, apes these days, they don't know the value of hard-earned blockchain currency. I couldn't agree more, Buck. And rounding out the field, in his convertible VW Beetle, Rafferty Radford. The cars are in position. Lights are up. And it's lights out. Mighty French gets the jump on the field. Chandler Gray is all over the back of French trying to make the pass. French gets too high in the turn and flips over. Gray makes contact and Parker Bear frees Gray from the melee. Gray spins and backs it across the line. Now Blair spins and Radford hits him. I think Parker's still head on to second. Let's look at the replay. I'm telling you, Ryder, that RSR is too much car for that boy. He spins going straight, and then Parker Blair spins as well. Kids these days. Poor old Rafferty got caught up in the shenanigans. Taking a look back at the infinity pool, it looks like Monty French was driving in his mirrors. He just got high on the banking and flipped over. Chandler smashed into the back of him, and it looked like his day was over too. But here comes party boy Parker Blair, and he gives Chandler the bump to get him rolling again. And to add insult to injury, Rafferty Redford comes by and gives French a little love tap on his way by. Checking on the leaderboard, Gray picks up five bananas and sets the time to beat with a respectable 17.938. That's after the little spin spinorama. The boy is quick. Parker Blair grabs three bananas and Rafferty Radford gets on the board with two. Monty French takes home zero bananas and a few new dents in his car to match the ones his kids claim they don't know how they got there. Back up top for E2, we've got Chandler Graham pole, his new best buddy Parker Blair in the two spot, Radford and French in the back row. Lights out, side by side they go into turn one. Chandler Gray slips into first as Monty French jumps all over Parker Blair. Still trying to get around him into the infinity pool. Again, Monty French has problems on the banking and now is driving in reverse. Chandler Gray keeps things nice and tidy as he and Parker Blair will go 1-2. Somehow, Monty French spun back around and finishes third. Redford will finish in fourth. Let's try to unpack what exactly happened up there in the infinity pool. Right before the entrance to the infinity pool, Monty was all over the place. He's got the yips, Ryder. The yips? Yep, the yips. Care to add anything to that? The DTCC committed international securities fraud in the way they issued GameStop's dividend. I meant with Monty French. With Monty? Nope. As you can see here, folks, coming out of the infinity pool, French spun again and Radford smacked him back around. Chandler Gray collects his second win in as many races and finishes with a slightly slower 18028. Parker Blair grabs three bananas and holds on to second place. And Radford and French are still within shouting distance with three and two bananas respectively. These young punks are showing the older guys up. It must be all those video games they got at GameStop growing up. Let's see if the old silverbacks could reclaim their place in the troop. He 3 has Parker Blair on board. Then Radford. French and Gray will start from the back for the first time. And it's lights out. It's Blair and French out of turn one and banana chicane. Into crater corner, Gray tries the long way around Radford. No! Money French makes the pass on Blair. French through the pool with ease this time as Chandler Gray gets around Rafferty Radford. French all alone as Gray picks up another place passing Blair. French takes the checkers. Gray with an impressive second. Blair, then Radford in fourth. Parker Blair makes a mistake, as those young guys often do, and French is there to make the pass. It was all over from there on out. Just look at this pass Chandler Gray makes on Radford. Absolutely textbook. Rafferty might as well be driving a PT Cruiser with the way he's puttering around Corsa Luna like a total boomer. Says the resident boomer in the booth. What was that? 
I said, let's go to the scoreboard. Chandler Gray stays on top with 13 bananas. Parker Blair stays in second with eight. Monty French jumps up a spot with seven bananas and now has the fast lap with that blistering 16874. I hope Rafferty Radford is getting some good moonbeams here as he's all but out of it in fourth with four bananas. Final heat, and the two seats are wide open for anyone to take. Rafferty Radford on pole, Monty French beside him. It's an all boomer front row. Chandler Gray in third, and Parker Blair will start from the back. And it's lights out. It all comes down to this. French makes the pass on reactor straight. Gray makes a move on Radford going into infinity pool. They touch and Chandler Gray spins. He collects Radford and Parker Blair. Monty French is all alone in this one. Can he bring it home? Now French loses control and tumbles across the line. What a finish! Looking at the replay of the finish, it looks like Monty French might have found an old hamburger wrapper stuffed between the seats. You can almost hear him yelling, you damn kids, as he loses control and rolls across the finish line. I've been there, Monty. Back in the infinity pool, Chandler Gray makes the pass at the entrance and gets spun around by Radford and collects Blair in the process. With that win and the bonus banana for the fastest lap in Heat 3, Monty French ties Chandler Gray to move on to the Europol Troop Finals. Parker Blair drops to third and Rafferty Radford was, well, just happy to get out of the house, I guess. That'll do it for us here at Corsa Luna. Remember to continue to direct register those shares. We'll see you real soon for all the Europol's Group B action. For Ryder Creed, I'm Buck Birch, and remember, apes, hold on to your bananas and keep the shiny side up. <laughs>